Most new ideas and well-established organizations don't fail because of a lack of good strategy. They fail because they are unable to translate their ideas into realities. Otherwise put, organizations struggle to put strategy into action. So how can we bridge that famous strategy execution gap? One key piece is understanding and leveraging the concept of operating models, which we're going to discuss today. Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Stefan Diefenbacher. I'm the founder of Digital Leadership. We are a change accelerator and consultancy, and I'm the lead author of the book, How to Create Innovation and the Unite Models. I'm very happy to share with you today more about the UNITE operating model canvas. How does an operating model help in achieving organizational alignment? Well, think of an operating model like an architectural plan of a building. The piece of planning will highlight how a building is set up, where the walls, windows and doors are, as well as how the piping and electricity is installed. An operating model has similar intent. It's a blueprint which helps you convert a particular strategy into operational guidelines and decisions. It generally helps you think about how you're going to design your organization and how you're going to set up your operations. It helps the head of operations think about the best processes that he or she is going to put in place and the supply chain processes that will need to be set up. It will also help the head of human resources to think about the organization structure that's appropriate for that type of organization. And he'll think equally about which type of people he'll need to put that strategy into action. It will generally help the management team to think about which type of management information systems are required to get a feedback system into place. And it will help the head of IT think about the IT architecture that will be needed to support the organization. In summary, an operating model is the critically important link between a strategic direction and its much more granular day-to-day -day decisions that get made by experts every day in a particular functional domain. So why is an operating model so important? As you move from a high-level business concept or strategy to an actual business and its setup and execution, is inherently difficult. Many organizations fail to bridge that so-called strategy execution gap, meaning they fail to implement the strategy or business concept they originally designed. Most statistics estimate that up to 70% of organizations struggle with moving from strategy to execution. Nearly all organizations suffer from different groups pulling in different directions. HR is focused on increasing diversity, Finance is trying to keep costs low. Sales want to grow the number of small accounts and IT might be wanting to build in extra security. The big question is thus, how to get from strategy to execution while keeping everybody aligned? In other words, it is how to go from people pulling in all kinds of different directions to people pulling and processes being well aligned and pulling the boat or the ship in the same direction as to advance the organization and to fulfill its purpose. Documenting an operating model can be done in very different way. You can start with a single canvas like we have been just showing the operating model canvas, but you can, you can easily expand that canvas into a 10 to 20 page document by taking the different sections of the canvas and detailing them in a more fully word document. But don't go overboard. I mean, there are operating manuals of hundreds of pages or operating manuals of thousands of pages. So for example, just think about a McDonald franchise operating manual describing the detailed processes, instructions for each machine. But for initial iterations, this is certainly not required. The central value delivery chains describe how the value proposition is delivered to your target customer. In other words, these core processes directly deliver value to your customers. Please note that you may delineate several value delivery chains if you have more than one. 
a business is not necessarily limited to just one value chain. Quite on the opposite, many businesses have several key value chains. The other areas depicted in white are the supporting processes. These are necessary, but focus on internal customers and processes as opposed to external ones. The supporting processes depicted at the top of the canvas cover the firm infrastructure, organization, partner and locations, while the supporting areas at the bottom cover HR, management systems, finance, legal, as well as information. You can use the operating model canvas in a similar way to the business model canvas or any other canvas. Just get around it, uh, get around a flip chart, a whiteboard, write out the areas of the canvas and fill those areas with post-it notes. Discuss the critical aspects and how everything fits together in particular. You want to achieve a well-configured operating model where everything is working harmoniously together. It is typically helpful to start with a core value delivery chain or chains in case you have several ones. Then move on from what your next biggest challenges are. Do not get dogmatic, please, about the fill order. There is no single best way. The core strength of the operating model canvas is its brevity. It intentionally does not touch upon every aspect of value creation but rather forces you to focus on the key elements and to consider at the highest level how those different aspects of the organization fit together. This enables execution of your strategy and helps you to achieve alignment at a high level. It will also help you consider different alternatives of scaling. For example, you may consider outsourcing most aspects and conducting only partner management and marketing in-house this, of course, would be a dramatically different aspect from one approach where you do everything in-house. So as you go through your operating model, please consider those key strategic decisions and questions you're making. The operating model canvas is tightly integrated with the rest of the business model canvas. For those who are familiar with the business model canvas, the operating model canvas covers the back end of the Unite business model canvas. This drawing shows the integration between the two. So the operating model basically details out the value chain, key resources and key partners of the operating model summary contained in the business model canvas. Often people consider the operating model way too late in the process of innovation. You should typically start working on your operating model canvas when there is clarity about your value proposition that you're trying to deliver. You start much later, you are ultimately failing to validate the critical aspect of your business model. So please go out there and start early. There is one related key tool which I would like to particularly emphasize on. These are the value disciplines. They are critical to consider in the context of operating models. As a firm, you basically have a choice between three different kinds of positionings. Number one, you can all be about custom intimacy depicted at the top. This basically involves you knowing your customers best and you serving them in a highly personalized way. Or you can choose to go about operational excellence. You offer the lowest total costs and are super efficient. Last but not least, you can also be about product leadership. This involves basically building the very best products in the marketplace. Now, to some degree, you can bridge all three value disciplines today thanks to technology, since you may be able to offer a tailored experience in an effective setup, for example. Having said that, particularly for young organizations, we suggest making a firm choice on one area only for two reasons. Number one, you don't have the money to be Uber in all three areas. You simply can't be the best, the cheapest and most efficient and know your people best. Second, your customers what want to know from you, what you're all about and what you stand for. So make it clear in their heads that you're all about the lowest costs or the best possible product and product leadership or about a uniquely tailored and personal experience. 
Choosing a value discipline will have major repercussions on your strategy, business model, and perhaps most importantly, your operating model. If you want to offer the cheapest product, you have to create a super efficient operating model that is more effective than your competitors and so on and so forth. How the UNITE operating model integrates with the rest of the UNITE models. The operating model canvas nicely integrates with all other UNITE models. As an example, here you see the business model framework, the first of its kind globally. The business model framework shows the business model canvas in the very center. And depending on what aspect you're interested in, you can quite literally zoom in and develop those details with those related models. As an example, you can deep dive on your value model with the help of the value proposition canvas or on your operating model with the operating model canvas, which we discussed today. Or you can reinvent your business model itself with the Unite Business Model Innovation Patterns. You can discover and freely download all of those models and tools and canvases on digitalleadership.com slash unite. The UNITE Operating Model Canvas and the UNITE Business Model Framework, which we have discussed today, are part of over 50 models that cover the entirety of innovation and digital transformation. Jointly, they are the largest integrated library the Internet has to offer, sharing not only one model, but the integrated set of UNITE tools is important to us. All pieces of business have to work together like in a well-oiled machine. As an example, the best product without great marketing will be a failure. The best marketing without a poor product, however, will fail as well. And without a convincing operating model, you'll not be set up for success either. And so if you do not have your financials under control, your business model is not going to fly. So basically, my message is we have to think, design and act holistically and sustainably, else we lose as people, as organizations, and as societies. We have to apply that more holistic thinking to everything we do. With the help of the UNITE models, we can do just that integrated type of thinking. And that is why we are very happy to share with you the UNITE models and tools, fully free and entirely open source. Be sure to check them out on digitalleadership.com slash unite. And equally, have a look at our book, leadership.com slash create innovation. With this, I wish you all the best and in the best spirit of the book, let's unite and create a world worth living in. If you have questions and want to engage in the discussion, reach out. We're here to help and we're ready to support you on your initiative as to create real change in your organization. So we as digital leadership, we help organizations across innovation and transformation and the most important components thereof. So we are here equally to help you um, develop a superior user experience, to help you drive organizational and cultural change and align your business and IT. Thank you so much. Be well and see you soon at digitalleadership.com. All the best.